And I'm going to give you a post-job briefing on my experiences in putting this LT-15 wide with a trailer together. The challenges I had that I like to talk about uh, real quickly uh, that I overcame was getting the um, trailer wire through this rail. You had, to, you had to have a fish tape. Get you a fish tape. Get it all the way down that end, hook it to the wire, and pull it through. You got that fish tape on deck, that won't be, that'll be easy to do. And then um, the other thing, there's four bolts that hold this tongue on. One of the fully threaded bolts goes on the side for the uh, the rope holder for the uh, the saw head. So when you get, when you're looking at all four bolts, don't panic, just the, the, the one that's different is the fully threaded one, goes on the side where your uh, rope's gonna go. Other than that, the, the hitch was pretty simple. Um, the outriggers on the trailer went as one outrigger here. Uh, the box was the next one. It's, you know, you'll see the square that they send you. That square also supports two um, outriggers. And then, you know, there's another outrigger. Now these are these are different, but it's. They're different, and it's pretty obvious that the difference is uh, the, 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 the third one bolts to the um, the side of the, the rail. The other one bolts to a, it has its uh, bolt, uh, oh, let me show you. The first one, it has a, um, it has its own support, bolt support. That's where the first outrigger does. And then the next one is the box. It has its own box supports made for it and then the third one okay the third one squeezes the actual uh rail see it sandwiches itself in with the spacers okay then you, the axle goes on and the axle actually has its own support system made see that makes it so easy and then the last outrigger bolts into its own uh support bracket okay then the bumper they speak about making sure the bottom of the bumper is fits in it in the in the slot well look there's a slot at the bottom of the of the uh the uh lip of the uh bumper it's a little notch and it just sits on the end of this tubing nice and comfortable it just it just tilts in it very simple when you have it in your hand this way it just tilts in there nothing dramatic and then this right here i suppose this stays exposed you're thinking to yourself man should the bumper cover all of that? Well, it didn't. There may be an accessory you can add to cover all that, but I guess they want you to keep in mind you can add another piece of channel and that bumper will go elsewhere. Um, That's where it sticks. Mm -hmm, sure does. Nice and simple. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the head itself, don't panic. Uh, you can put this on either end of the trailer. Either, this trailer can be put together where that bumper could have been on that end, but then you've done everything the opposite. So this is the way I, I put it together. And um, that's it. I, I can't think of anything else that, that was very hard. Transporting that head was something, but at least I had this right here. My assistant was wonderful holding the tagline. We lowered it on there. I had four people to each one pull the pin that sat right on there. Now, I don't know what I'd have done if I'd have just been by myself or one person. I guess we could have managed it, but it was easier with four. You need help, I must admit. You do need help. This thing took me about shine, oh, two weeks. Because one, I didn't have the parts. I, I was missing parts. I'm, would my eyes, you guys sent me. It was y'all. Y'all sent them to me. You did, but I had to wait on Pony Express. You know. But here it is. I hope this is the satisfaction from sawing uh, over overrides the in, my impatience of waiting on the parts because it, it is an impressive looking piece of equipment i must say 2020 what year is it 2024 i paid twenty thousand dollars for this equipment what i have here is a 17 horsepower diesel kohler motor kohler motor made in uh italy i think this motor is made in italy for my paisan brothers paisan. Uh, Kohler motor diesel. It has everything else is manual. Okay, I didn't opt for the uh, power feed, which you can add that later. It just is on a rope pulley. Uh, my first time ever milling. Why am I milling? You may ask me. Uh, hey, listen, I can tell you a story really quick. 
Um, I am AKA the Shmuel. Don't worry, that's, that's, that's me. And uh, my grandfather in 1900 was put on this earth. And when he was 13 years old, he lived with, he had uh, 14 brothers and sisters. When he was 14, he walked out of the house with a tobacco stick and a handkerchief with his clothes packed in it. And he left. Stayed gone for many years. He come back on a moon. And when he come back, he started a sawmill. Now he, he used that big blade with horse horsepower and the, and the river to push the, push the wheel. But he acquired, that's how he made his, his way in the world. I don't, hey, here I am, full circle. That's it. Shmuel 